cerebral palsy is a non-progressive organic brain damage that occurs prenatally or postnatally and usually the cause is that there is an anoxic damage of the brain as a result of which there is a delay in the development a normal child has a neck holding at an age of three months and sits at an age of six months and usually stands and walks within a year or maybe a few months later than a year but patients with cerebral palsy they usually are delayed their neck holding could be postponed from six months to sometimes more than a year and two years depending on the severity similarly the sitting is delayed and as far as their standing and walking is concerned all patients with cerebral palsy may not ever be able to walk so that is how we classify cerebral palsy into mild moderate and severe patients of mild cerebral palsy they live almost near to a normal life with some degree of mental deterioration or cognitive deficiencies people with moderate cerebral palsy they are able to walk with the support or they could mobile or to keep them the mobile on a wheelchair but they can partially do their activities of daily living whereas in severe form of cerebral palsy patients usually are in a vegetative state or they are totally dependent as far as treatment is concerned well there is no cure of the condition we rather say there is a supportive therapy the usual bulk of patients that we see in this part of the world is a spastic cerebral palsy which is of moderate uh, condition in such conditions the most effective treatment is to despastify the patient because they are spastic and as a result of spasticity people cannot walk properly and they develop deformities and to reduce this spasticity we do three kind of treatments number one is a physical therapy which includes stretching and regular exercises we have a pharmacological treatment which includes baclofen or uh, anti-spastic agents and finally uh, the most uh, useful and effective way is to give uh, bottle in injections and usually we give bottle in injections to those patients uh, who are severely spastic and we maintain later on on backlit as far as surgery is concerned well there could be rare cases where we need to do surgery in which TA lengthening is done as a tendo Achilles and uh, in the groin or adductor tenotomies are done which could only be done after evaluation through a or by a rehabilitation uh, consultant most people uh, go for another surgery and that is for hamstrings I personally as a rehab consultant believe that people with cerebral palsy when they walk with slightly uh, curved uh, knee joints with an angle of about 10 to 15 this should be taken acceptable and we should not go for uh, lengthening of the hamstrings this causes more weakness as far as speech is concerned uh, communicative skills are concerned I think speech pathologist pathologists should be involved and I'm sure if uh, proper uh, care is taken such as giving more confidence to the patient and deciding realistic goals if this is done patient can do very well thank you very much